leave. You know what? I think it's time we have the Edu conversation. We are in the Champions League. We just challenged for the top four. If you're not going to be able to pull off transfers at this point, when are you going to ever be able to pull off transfers? You got, you got, we need to do the Edu feedback when the signings are not. I was possible. Edu out a couple of years ago. I'm not going to lie to you. I tried yeah. to somewhat yeah. back him. Give him a chance. Give him a chance, boy. I tried to somewhat back him. How many chances do you want? No, on, wait, 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 sorry. Let me just here. Yeah, yesterday. how many chances you want to give this guy when he embarrassed us this morning after we heard that, oh, we're waiting to make the bid, you know, after the final. We waited a whole week, and then we submit our first bid, and then it gets rejected in five minutes, and then the whole <laughs> news is about how abysmal that bid was, right? Like, you know how embarrassing that was this morning? That was uh, embarrassing, uh, dude. Come listen, on, bro, I'm bro, not bro, Edu bro. out. That was the one media. Second, one second. I'm not Edu out. I just want to have the conversation because there's two sides to the, each side. I'm Edu out. I'll, I'll tell you straight up. I want the guy. Whoa, gone. I want whoa. Richard gone as well. That that that. Gotta pay it in six years. I give them. I give them credit for where we are right now. But if we don't push on, it's fully on them. Brother, we win the Premier League if it wasn't for them. People are saying it's the Cronkies. We wouldn't fault. be in the Premier League Challenge. It's not the Cronkies' it. fault. It's the I'm Cronkies. on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. Sorry, it all comes from. If, no. if we had, if we had Raul and Eddie. Okay, we'll be nowhere near. You said it has to be Raul Sanelli, though. No, you said it has yeah, to be yeah, no. guy, The guy came in, he took Raul Sanelli out of Arsenal. He became the main man. He, he got us from what we, what we were for the past five years to now being top two best teams in the Premier League. And you guys are talking about Edu out. I don't understand that. What's I, he I, done I, that's good? Give him no, the summer. Got the window opened. The window opened yesterday. It opened it's yesterday. Give him. To buy give him. If he crashes, no, but my man saying, what if we still get Declan Rice? Like, no, yeah, can, fair enough. Fair Declan enough. Rice should happen regardless of Edu being no, there. It, is, it should happen Eddie because Declan Rice is one of the most sought out with midfielders, and he wants to come to us. He's rejected by Munich. Is that because of Edu? Is that how many players? So, so, how many players have rejected by Munich to come to us? Not a single one. He's not rejecting mine. He's rejecting a move abroad. Oh, Real Madrid bro. didn't come it, in. He bro, was no one ever comes to us. No one ever comes to us, bro. We can't attract anyone. So, so last, guy, no, the last no, player that we got... That's not on Edu. That's on Argenta and the team doing Ozo. well and being in the Champions League. Ozo, that's not on Ozo. Edu, bro. Alexis Edu Sanchez. didn't do anything. Honestly. Hmm. Well, no, he's saying he's saying when when is the last like when have players been rejecting Bayern Munich to come to Arsenal? And I don't think we should credit that to Edu. I think that's more right. on Arteta and the team and us, you know, progressing and maybe even we, we one, second, one, one second, one second, one second. I think I think, yes. think Ibi is right. We should give a little leeway. The window just opened yesterday. Come on, let's have it a little calm. But Ibi is right. It got, the it got, it got. just open yesterday. It's not normal for us to be bidding first day of the window. That's not normal. That's a that's that's new. No one does that. It got, but that's it got, stupid. It got, why it got, is it? it new? Why is that now? So 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 so. Saka's got a new contract. Martinelli's got a new contract. Saliba's got a new contract. Uh, Ramsdale's got a new contract. Everyone's got a new contract. When we have ever had our yeah, main, no, main okay, players signed to a long term contract, touché, literally touché, five. Touché. Most of our first team players have got new contract because of Edu. Okay. Because of yeah. Edu and uh, Richard Garlic. Edu and before, Arteta and Richard Garlic, yes. No, yes, but before yes. everyone was talking about Saliba's gone, he's not staying anymore. He's got he's signing a new four year contract. Be, come those on. are only rival fans. Yeah, man. But it, it's one of those ones is we only guys signing a new contract had in, 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 in the next in the next couple of months. He's got a new nobody contract. in this panel would agree with 70 million for Kai Havertz. Let's be real. Nah. So impossible. let this guy cook because if 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 if, if Edu uh clutches um Declan Rice, Kai Havertz a winger, a full-back, and a, another centre-back. That's six signings. All of you guys need to apologise to him. I wanna, There's I wanna no him. way we're signing a winger. We just gave Reece Nelson a new contract. No, no, we need a winger. We need a winger. We're not getting we an attacker, bro. No, my response attacker. to that is I totally agree with you. I also, literally just before this morning, I was really happy with Edu what? because I think the contract extensions have been phenomenal. I've never seen Arsenal do that. So I think they've been great. But when that first bid went in and the way, like, you know, the way it happened, we tried to pay it over six years. It was, yeah, it was disheartening for me. And it started, it just reminded me, like, it's, I started questioning again, like, okay, but, does this guy actually know what he's but, doing? You know, where did the media get from? The where did the media get from that? Oh, the, the, the offer was embarrassing. Like, where, where did Dude. they... Like because they, it's, yeah, a, it's a propaganda against Arsenal. It's always propaganda no, against. Arsenal. Where the only club? Make that up. All I want to say, team, we're the only club in the Premier League. Sit up there and said, "Give us a hundred million, and you go in." 
an 18 million. That's 80. A smack okay, if, over if, six let, years. Let, let me give it to you. Okay, in a scenario. okay. My United offer. Let me give you a scenario. United offer. Chelsea, if Mason if Man City million. came in and said 60 million for Bakaya Saka, are you not going to sit there and go, "What an embarrassing bid that is"? That's no, an embarrassment. No, 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 no. Great no, example. I love it. No, no, no. It. That's not a good example. That's not a good example. Because I love it. West Ham have said. West Ham have said. West Ham have said we're selling Declan. One second. What's the poll question? We're selling Saka. What's okay, just no, no, a question. Yeah, if we say, let's say we, as Arsenal football, let's just hypothetically think about this for a second. Are we saying so Edu say, out, Edu in? If Bakayo Saka, <laughs> we say, <laughs> okay, he's on sale for 150 million, sure let's just say hypothetically, and, and Man City come in for a 100 million pound bid, are you not going to sit there and go, that's a bit disrespectful? When we yeah. First bid, souls, souls, souls. First bid is always a low ball. Bit. Oh. Yeah, but it's not about it's not about the price. It's about the payment structure. I hear you. I, I'm not I'm not upset about this the price. The, cool. The, the, the price is low ball. Payment structure has been shit. It's the payment structure, and we were okay. And then. we were talking about the last five days about yeah, how please. Edu has been talking okay, to West Ham to make sure that we bid and the first bid gets accepted because when we were uh, bidding for Mudrik, this whole thing happened. It was supposed to be a one shot, one kill. That, that's what okay, I was hearing. Isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yo, but I was watching Talk Spot. Simon John has said it perfectly right. He he said it perfectly. If you match what West Ham are asking for, they'll come out and say, no, we don't want that anymore. We want a bit more. Mm. Never, never give... The, your first bid can yeah, never be what they're asking for. Embarrassingly low. Yeah, no, but it's always Defo's like that. Gonna get because my United, my United bid 40 million for Mason Matt when Chelsea won 60 million. But no one, no, no, no one, but no one in the media said that's an embarrassment of an offer. But it's always Arsenal, it's like the propaganda. We our offers are always but getting that's, that's like, still closer than what we offered. 80 million is not 80 million for Declan Rice. I think I think it's just like when it's Arsenal, yeah. there's just a bit more of a like perception that like we're doing dumb stuff, right? Do you remember like the 40 million and a pound and stuff? If it was yeah, some some respected club offering 80, no one would have a problem with it. And I feel like sometimes it is a bit of like negative stuff against Arsenal. That's, our reputation oh, it's, it's also PTSD, 100%. 100%. You know, I, I, just, I, just, I just did a poll question. Let me know. Everyone in the chat right now, let me know if you're watching on your phones or whatever device you're watching on. Do you agree with Souls or do you agree with Dawood? Let me know. 64, 64% right now did, did agree with Souls. Let me know what can you guys I, are saying. Agenda. I guess I do. Um, <laughs> agenda I, I do. Okay, can I? Uh, first of all, I think Edu's done a good job with what he's been given. Neil said in the chat a while ago, Edu will be given a budget to work with our owners, cribbing stingy fears. I think incomings have been okay. Outgoings are a shambles. For me, that's enough reason almost to look for someone better who's going to actually bring in good money for our players. Outgoing. How many players have we paid to leave? <laughs> God. That's just but that's the previous seven. regime. That's the previous regime. It's not no, Edu's no, it was players. still Edu. It was still Edu, man. He's the one who can't. Come on, you're telling me we couldn't get at least five million for Abamio. No, no, because no, 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 we couldn't get anything because it was our public. I had to said, I don't want this guy no more. I can't, he, he can't play anymore. So, yeah, that's Edu our that fault. That's no, our but fault. I, how are you, how are you blaming, how are you blaming Edu for what Arteta did? No, it's both of them because remember when Edu in that in the in the documentary. Edu was talking about, oh, we can't get any money for this guy. They were literally talking about it. Like, they, yeah. they just and didn't have Garnick, marketing yeah, he's strategy. Right. But also, no, even, if you, look at, even if you look past that, okay, last season when Xhaka was getting scrutinized by the fan base, guess what? His bids were coming in for 15 million. Ooh, he's had the best season of his career. And guess what the bid is? 15 million. Oh, my God. One of the best seasons the man's had and the bid hasn't gone up. Because one of the best videos I've had in a long time, and you guys still haven't gotten 100 likes. What's going on? Come on, um, oh bro, I, bro, all I... I'm saying, Ed is gonna come in crotch, he's gonna prove all of you guys wrong. Okay, okay. I hope so. I hope I'm so. just gonna be devil's advocate here. Prove me right. I'm just gonna be devil's advocate here. Gonna go this way. Edu, Edu actually has done his job. There's a case to be said that Richard Garlic is the guy who's not doing his job right. They both gotta go. That's what I've said. They both have to go. <laughs> who do you get to replace them? Who do you get to replace them? Who do you get? Who do you, who do you get sold to replace them? No, no, yeah. Anyone, you, know brother, you can get that compost guy that um, <laughs> that took a um, niece to the to the league on title. Was it compost? Well, the one, the one at PSG right now, Louis Compost. He's I don't at PSG, know he's right PSG now. but he's a, he's a consultant for PSG. Yes. Wait, there's no. another tweet that just came out. Another what? That's another Ralston. Yeah, but this guy's not. I don't know if he's reliable or not. Have you guys heard of this guy? Dude. Bro, this is just some random account. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I, I saw like twenty minutes. Two thousand subscribers. I got a thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I go in? I know. Yeah. So there's problems with Edu, Garlic. They they're good, all right. But for us to be top tier, we need the top tier people in those positions. And who always going back to who puts the structure, the hierarchy in place? It's the Cronkies. And we have seen, especially over recent years, when they want to, when Stan gives a S, okay? <laughs> I know you're looking at me like that. But no, no, no. I, I, no I just saw a tweet from Charles okay. Watts. It's a fake account that said Rob Horn is our new contract. I didn't have a heart attack. Dude, again. just block, so, block yeah. those, yeah. block people yeah, like yeah. that. It's just so I annoying. Know. I hate that. Charles yeah. Watts yeah. account always gets just me. block those people. He convinced me that we were going to sell Emma Smith Row. Oh. So, sorry, yeah. What were you saying? Sorry about that. No, um, yeah, no. For me, it's it's all downwards from the Cronkies. They've they've made. I think it's in basketball or baseball, and I don't know much about the other. Yeah, yeah. NBA, yeah, NBA, yeah. Uh, well, they, well, they've won that, but they've also signed like the most expensive ever contract, like in basketball. They've taken these teams that haven't won for way longer than Arsenal, have them winning all the. I really don't know much about American sports. You guys will know know a bit more. <laughs> But I know yeah. they've gone from nothing to like buying all these amazing players and winning and the Cronkies are there and they're celebrating, they're holding trophies with the players. For me, when they want to, they can get exactly what's needed to be done in a club, transfer-wise, and the negotiations. <sighs> yeah. I'm just going to um, show you this. And for me, if they're not showing this summer that they're going to do that with Arsenal, then when will they? Because if we, if we don't improve our season... Other teams are going to be strengthening. We're so close. But, we it, just but it's to... not really fair because what they were able to do with the Rams was they were able to get some of the best players in the league in their positions. For the base, for the football team, uh, that's what they did. For the hockey team, they ended up in – they got the, the Washington, Washington Capitals, best play, some of their best players. They got them. In Why the can't... NBA, in the NBA, they were – they basically – they basically got an unknown guy from Serbia and turned him into the best player in the NBA. But but Egal, that guy, unknown uh, Jokic, he signed a five-year contract with 264 million. Five-year contract. That's, that's the, the, the NBA biggest money now. No, but as in the if they're willing to do that for a, a, a team in Denver um, in the NBA, how come they can't do that for us? They are. Because, because they, they, are. they are. They are to do that. The money available. Look, this is where people are being disingenuous. Oh, right? you can't. In the souls, you're telling me that the Cronkies said you got 300 yeah, million. The Cronkies said match the bid. Edu and the Edu and Edu said saying, match the bid. What did Mikel Arteta and Edu say? Let's not do it. Yeah, then so he, they got the, proven right. The they got proven right. No. Mudrick's not worth 100 million. Mudrick's not worth 100 million. Yeah, technically, yes. Who gives a shit? Who's saying whether they're worth it? You're asking whether the money can be spent. The money is there. The money's always been there. Guys. Yeah, agreed. In a in, in a in a in a hopium world. Or disprove it then, because if Mudrick's money is there, why wasn't it spent? It's because, because there's no one did. available in January. Who's available in January? Bro, we could have yeah, got Casino. And, and supposedly we're waiting to use that Brighton, money now. Brighton, if you That's you could offer yeah. Brighton, you could have offered Brighton. Who knows? Like, bro, January, I believe never sell it. if we we're went and it. if we went to Brighton and we told them, give us Casino right now, we'll give you 120 mil. No, mm-hmm. they wouldn't have sold it. They would have sold, sold them. They, they would have sold, sold them. them. They, they would have. I don't believe that. They would have. That's the price they were asking for. That hypothetical. I've been about hypothet- hypothetical situations, but they rejected ninety million. They said they we're said gonna, we're going to get twenty to the table, and we're told that's what they wanted from the get. Yo, Gunnar Lee in the building saying Ooh. Havertz doesn't even get into our eleven. You know what? That's does, a conversation for another day. It does have a jacket. It does. Is that the is that the Gunnar Lee from AFTV? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's uh, yeah, pro Declan Rice, but when we had a conversation a few weeks ago, he was all over Kaiseido, and now all of a sudden he loves Declan Rice. He's a Rice. stat account now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, funny, funny, funny. Listen, nah, man. <laughs> he was supposed to be on the stream today, but he went to the movies. So leave, uh, let the guy live. But yo, be, uh, <laughs> We're going to wrap it up here. We've been going for an hour and three minutes. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think this is the perfect setup where we got where we got a balance. I feel like you got the positive, you got the negative, you got you got the in-between. And everyone's just showing their true colors today, uh, getting themselves out there. I love it. Um, big up big up everyone who jumped on. My guy, uh, LA African Gunner, day one on the channel. Big up Gunner Souls doing his boxing thing. We got we got Dawood, as you guys know, the, the the biggest Somali TikToker out here, and then nice. and then and then we got 
And then we got Fran in the house. Just to let you guys know, Fran does this artwork. It's amazing. Check it out. And Fran, if you want to let people know what, what kind of shirts you guys, what kind wow. of shirts you have. You can't see it. Yeah, so I draw the players. I have questionable football takes, but I just say, like, ignore that. Look at my artwork. Um, so I paint stuff like I paint stuff like that massive one behind me. I'm halfway through a portrait of Sakura. I've got tons more of these. Um, they're all on my website. I do them by hand, but then I scan them um, and put them on merch, which you can kind of see the Emil Smith Rowe yeah. one. I've got Gabriel Jesus one, so it's got drawings in the middle. Any, and, any, um, any ones? Yeah. Huh? Any Eddie ones? You have any Hell no. <laughs> you better be one of the You need to start store. drawing up the Declan Rice one, eh? I have a I'll be one. interested in purchasing that one. Oh, you can have Edu, Rice, Havertz, and you know, with the signing. That may be. I was, a, I was so concern. close to getting an Arsenal show with Rice. And I just want to let everyone know. I just want to let everyone know if you go to the comment section, you go to the oh. description, you can see the link to her channel plus a, a discount code. So if you. Uh, uh, so if you yeah, wanna if you wanna go buy buy her stuff, the website's right there, her YouTube channel, and all the other guys' contents right there also. And make sure you goddamn hit that like button for God's sakes. We got over a hundred, but big up to you. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. Honestly, it's been a good show. It's been a good show. People are saying people are saying pin the website. The website is in the description. So if you go into the description, you can see it right there. It's in the description. But yeah, I'm out of here, guys. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Uh, hopefully, we do this again after we sign a player <laughs> and we're a little bit more happy. And and you know what? Le African Gunner, appreciate it. Souls, Fran, Dawood, everyone in the comment section, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. We're out of here. For Bruti Romano, take it away. Here we go.